it's not that they can't quit, it's that they've been unable to quit so far, right? Mm -hmm. So the saying, uh, never quit quitting, uh, what we know is that every attempt to stop uh, like a, an addictive behavior, every time you attempt, you get closer to actually stopping. Mm -hmm. So if you quit, and you, so what happens is somebody says, I'm going to quit smoking. You know, they throw out the pack, whatever, and they go maybe a day. Let's say you went a day or you went a day and a half, and then you break down and you have a cigarette, right? So he's like, oh, okay, well, I can't quit. Well, no, no, don't focus on the cigarette that you had. Focus on the 14 cigarettes that you didn't have for the period of time that just went by. Like, focus on your success. And just because you had one cigarette doesn't mean that you're right back to a smoker again. You had one cigarette where do you go from here right it's not all or nothing and that happens to people sometimes with substance use too you know um so here's a personal example is that when i i came into recovery and i had a good length of time in recovery i because i got clean in july as you know and the winter came and i got my winter stuff out again and i went to put on this coat that i didn't wear very often because it kind of just went with this one skirt and boots outfit but I don't want to come off as like vacuous, and, but anyway, I put my hands in, it was this green suede coat that I didn't wear very often, I put my hand in the pocket and guess what was in there? A pill. And in that moment, you're gripped by the obsession to like take that pill, like it's so overpowerful like I froze in that moment in time, because nobody would know, who would know, right? And, 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 what, and a part of me is curious to see what would happen because I've gone so long without using. Maybe I could just take that pill and be okay. No, I didn't take that pill because I was conditioned through treatment to learn to call somebody before I made a decision. And I had worked very hard to develop the behaviors and put them in place so they became sort of, um, I became like an automaton in terms of doing what I had to do next uh, so that I never give a good at it a chance to go bad. Uh, but I know somebody who ran into the same situation and did. And the point is that when they took that first one, they failed. Like they're, they're no longer clean. The year that they had clean didn't matter. They were now using again. That's not the way it goes. What people don't know is that the average length of time that it takes for a person who wants to quit using. So somebody who wants to be abstinent, I never want to drink again. That's my goal. The average length of time that it takes from that intention and action on that goal to the time when a person has managed to go 360 consecutive days without drinking is eight years. Eight years. So at the time you decide that you don't want to drink ever again, if you know that on average, and it's on average, it's going to be eight years until you actually get a year consecutive of not drinking, maybe you won't feel like a failure. People think they can't do it. You say she can't stop, stop smoking. That's probably because they've tried time and time again and not been able to never smoke again. That's, that's not it, right? What you want to do is you want to continue to try and try. Because every time you try, you smoke less cigarettes than you would have if you didn't try. And you become closer and closer to succeeding. And you need to see your goal as making attempts to change a behavior, not never doing it again. Doing less of it. If you or a loved one are looking for help with substance abuse, call our 24-7 helpline at 1-800-615-1067. A caring addiction advisor is awaiting your call.